every child can be educated. It's difficult to believe. Uh, uh, yeah, sometimes it's really difficult. And with this sentence, you know, it's also the respect of each tempo of the child. You know, each child go on a different uh, speed. Yeah, this is a good one. And to respect this is sometimes very difficult. Właśnie wiara w to, że każde dziecko jest zdolne. Że każde dziecko potrafi wznieść się na wysoki poziom muzykalności, sprawności technicznej i rozwinąć się ogólnie, bo to chodzi właśnie o ten rozwój ogólny. Many children start at the same moment. And after three months, you know, one is there and one is there and so they don't have the same speed and it is normal because if you put children on a line and you let run them to a finished line, they all arrive if they continue to run. But they arrive in a different, uh, not all together. Think of, you put a small, very small seed in the soil and you water it and you hmm, give sun and light and someday it shows a little thing. Then you don't take it and pull to make it bigger. <laughs> but you still keep nurturing it, looking at it and sun and, and everything and it grows in its own speed. You can't pull it. If you want, is higher. But someday it might be a huge tree. <laughs> uh, but it happens from inside and not from outside. This, I think, is a very good way of explaining that parents should not try to pull their children to something too fast. But just nurture what is and it will grow. You cannot oblige a baby, keep it in your head, to walk before the baby is ready with his muscles. Wiara w to, że każde dziecko ma inne tempo rozwoju, że nie wolno dziecka wtłaczać w żadne schematy, że trzeba mu dać się rozwijać w swoim tempie, tak jak dziecko uczy się w różnym tempie chodzić, w różnym tempie mówić, podobnie uczy się wszystkich rzeczy inaczej. So respect the speed of the child. But it's sometimes very difficult. Talent. I don't remember who it was who said it is 95% work and 5% in. It is to develop what you have. And, and, and talent is much more than in music, for instance, good ear. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you must be able to concentrate, to, to know how to learn to uh, be willing to work with something until you, you master it and not just stop somewhere and say, oh, now it's good enough. This is a fact. So I think talent, it's a manner of acting easily. And it depends also the possibilities you receive from the environment. Uh, the classical example of Suzuki is Beethoven. If he was born in the Stone Age, surely he did not compose the Fifth Symphony. The environment they live in is the one that develops them. Good or bad, they don't know. But we try, I think with talent, is that every child can become richer in a way that we develop the possibilities who are inside the child. When I see a, a, a child or get a new little student, I, I, I see a, a, a talent that I have to develop inside the child and then bring it out. It's not something from me to 
play, but that it comes from inside the child. So it takes time to build up this inner violinist, as I say, and then suddenly someday it comes out. That's beautiful. I can tell that Suzuki said when he was in Denmark in 1970, I dislike very much the word Suzuki method. He calls it mother tongue method and talent education. And by this he of course meant that children learn this in his, what he thinks his way is, the same as they learn the mother tongue. Which is amazing when you think of it. Even the smallest ones speak English. No one goes to school and the mother says, I'm sorry, he doesn't speak English because it was too difficult. That doesn't happen. They all speak. And, and music is also a language, so there must be a way for learning that also. The language is coming because he hears some songs. Uh, you take your child and mama, uh, maybe it's papa then, okay? Uh, but the child uh, and then try to imitate, okay? First you imitate and uh, it's an explosion. They learn by their senses. Their little brain is not intellectual. They don't, don't learn by thinking and doing. They, they learn by copying from everything they can hear and see and smell and feel and, 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 and so they learn from. Te najmłodsze dzieci uczą się zmysłami, wszystkimi zmysłami, czucia, węchu, dotyku. Dzieci starsze uczą się bardziej już intelektualnie. Wobec tego metoda Suzuki zakłada, że czym szybciej zaczniemy, tym lepiej. Bo dziecko chłonie jak gąbka wszystko, co wokół niego się dzieje. The child listens to the language, hears it every day, before they're born even. And one day, they say the first word. At the start, the child say a word, but don't make the connection with the person or a thing. He don't know what it means. And later on, he put connection with the word that he say too. And all these things Suzuki transposed in his method. Music is also a language. So, um, without words, actually. But it is a language that can be built. The very first time I read about it in a Danish music magazine and as everybody else I decided that this is absolutely not for Europeans. And I found out that it was about other things than just playing the violin. And I thought this is interesting. So it gives you an uh, impression there is something 
completely different, a new idea, new philosophy. So we must find it out. So um, I went to Matsumoto, where he has his music school. And there I really experienced another person where he was in his school, the one who was everywhere, his spirit was everywhere, and, um, and he was always smiling and full of energy, and, and it, there was a fantastic atmosphere, learning atmosphere. When we came in, everything is possible here. Nobody was shouting or talking loud, or everything was extremely pleasant and positive. You know, we were, I say we, I mean Dove, uh, Jean Middlemiss was there also, and I, we were a trio, should I say it this way, and we were extremely happy. We were very close to be the first small European group to be with him. This means that each morning at nine o'clock we were there, he teach us every piece, piece by piece. He was teaching us personally. When I came there, I met Jan Janssens, uh, who also was there. And as far as I know, we were the first European violin teachers um, visiting Japan. So, so really, Suzuki was very interested <laughs> in, 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 in us. And we had many lessons with him. I have never met person who are so human, so wonderful, who understand every situation and try to help you always. It's amazing. But I've been to, I've been to Japan six, seven, eight times. I don't know how many times I followed it up. Of course, I had the pleasure to be in Matsumoto minimum 14, 14 times, sometimes four months, two weeks, three weeks, a month, and so on. But every time, you know, it was like going home for me. We cannot survive without the parents. And we can only practice and give some inspiration to the parents, but they practice every day. Okay, as parent, to practice every day with your child, it is extremely difficult because you know each other too well. And, you know, to find always the time that the child is ready to play. This is also, uh, it's the key to the success. Czyli ta relacja, w której rodzic przejmuje funkcję nauczyciela w domu i kogoś, kto inspiruje najbardziej chyba, to jest y, chyba najtrudniejszy element do pokonania. So the parents are supposed to practice every day with a smile, uh, with their children, every day. Nobody can learn anything by having uh, been taught half an hour a week. This is impossible. It's every day at home. Musimy pracować bardzo systematycznie. Musi być to praca codzienna. Yy, musimy na to mieć stałą porę. Musimy mieć na to pomysł, żeby w dobrej, miłej atmosferze, nie przy zmęczonym dziecku, yy, wypracowywać te mini postępy, które co tydzień, jak gdyby sprawdza nauczyciel. And that they every day spend. 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something with a violin, that it's not twice a week or so, but every day just, just doesn't, have, doesn't have to be so much because kids learn tremendously fast. <laughs> so, um, so, and little by little this time will grow. 
But I think the understanding from the parents uh, of what is going on and what we are aiming for is the most important. And that it always is in a positive atmosphere. <laughs> that we learn as teachers and also as parents to give a positive criticism. Uh, so, positive comment. In the worst situation, you know, you find always something good. Because if you hear something positive, it's easier to make a game, to try it again. And that the atmosphere around that is positive and not uh, an atmosphere where you say, no, this was not good, and once more. But say, well, it's very good, you are really trying to do very well if we did this. Maybe it would be even better. I mean, a positive, a positive way of learning. It's that the parent and surely the teacher believe in the child that they can do it, because a child is much more sensitive than adults. And this was Suzuki said: learning is to add that you have a sum, it's maybe very small, of knowledge and ability. Maybe two things that go together. And when you master them, you add one new thing. Then you use three things. You have three, and, and when this is, you add another one, and then you have four. But you, you, you must keep using what you learned already. You add to that and use it all the time. And so adding, um, uh, it's like a snowball. You start with a little thing and you roll it and it gets bigger and bigger. And the bigger it is, the more it, it takes, the more, the more they can, the more they learn. This is believing in the child, believing they can do it, despite you must do it sometimes 10,000 times, but they can do it. Lekcje grupowe mają być y, taką lekcją z jednej strony dyscypliny, z drugiej strony radosnym tworzeniem czegoś razem. Jest również lekcja grupowa miejscem spotkań dzieci, które się stymulują obserwując swoich kolegów. It's fantastic for a small child to be in a big group because I we play. It sounds like this. The group lesson is uh, as important as a private lesson. Because here they learn um, to work together, to, um, they learn that if you have a group, one can spoil what all the others can do. <laughs> it takes only one to play too fast, and it's spoiled for everybody. <laughs> and uh, so the responsibility uh, when you are in a team that, that everybody has a full responsibility for the results. The group lesson in my eyes is important and it's also a big part of the teaching. To fantastyczne przygotowanie do pracy w orkiestrze. Dzieci uczą się idealnie grać yy, z artykulacją identyczną jak kolega. Uczą się słuchać, obserwować, dyscyplinować, skupiać. It developed many things. So you have love, understanding of each other, concentration also, learning to listen.
the basic sound of a violin, as Suzuki say, it's only pluff, a pizzicato. <laughs> and then you have a clear resonance. And to find this sound back on your violin with a bow, it, well, for me, it asks some work. Dla mnie skrzypce powinny właśnie y, być zbliżone jak najbardziej do głosu ludzkiego. Powinny być, y, powinny nam proponować dźwięk miękki, ale soczysty. The sound of a violin, it's a voice, like a human voice. Can express happiness and sorrow and everything. It has life. It's not, a, it's not a sound, it's a tone. And and it has it, it lives. It's a living thing. <laughs>